Russian nationalists demand from Kremlin that the country's nuclear missiles be aimed at US cities. A group of Russian National Liberation Movement NOD members chanted and marched through the streets calling for Russian nuclear warheads and missiles to be pointed at American cities. The anti-Western nationalist group was seen marching through the rain while listing the warheads they want directed at US cities. A protest leader shouts in Russian, Yaz, Samat, Poseidon, we are aiming at Washington, referring to RS-24 Yaz missiles, which can carry multiple nuclear warheads, RS-28 Samat intercontinental ballistic missiles and Poseidon torpedoes. Members of the pro-Kremlin Nod group, founded by Yevgeny Fyodorov, carried a black and orange striped flag with some, like the leader, pinning it to their shirts. The ribbon of St. George, which has a long history of commemorating World War II veterans, has become a symbol of Russian nationalism and militarism in recent years and in 2017 was banned in Ukraine. In a meeting with the country's foreign ministry leadership, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned, we have come unacceptably close to the point of no return, referencing Russia's threat to deploy nuclear weapons. John Isaacs, senior fellow at the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation, a non-partisan non-profit aiming to reduce nuclear threats, told Newsweek in a phone interview that Putin's recent rhetoric and warnings are threats trying to affect NATO and US behavior. He added that in light of the agreement, Putin, I believe, is doing everything he can to pretend that United States, if you don't behave, you're going to suffer consequences. He said the threat is one of the few moves Putin has left. In the absence of some victory or taking over Ukraine, the best Putin can do is threaten. Isaacs said the United States should treat it as a false flag, a threat that is not going to be carried through, that cannot be carried through for Russia and the United States' sake. If Putin started using nuclear weapons, he would die. So would a lot of people in Russia. A lot of people in the United States or NATO would die. In other words, it's suicidal for any country.